Hello, most of you know me as Sebastian's wife. My name is actually Gabriela Kivila and I was born uh, in Romania in 1982. I was born in an Orthodox, uh, Christian Orthodox family and my grandmother would go to church every Sunday and my parents uh, on major holiday and if the prediction was correct I would have probably never would never go to church by myself. But God had other plan for my life and as I was getting ready to go to high school and I wanted to go to an art high school, God made it possible for me not to get in uh, against everything everybody else was saying. My art teacher wanted to contest the exams saying that maybe my papers got um, met, switched out, my drawings were not the one that were graded were not my own, but my mom was set. She knew that our school was not for me. A few years before, about six years uh, before I had to go to high school, uh, the Baptist churches in my hometown built a high school. Actually, they rented a part of an older school and opened a high school. Uh, there was uh, back then the Baptist high school. And among other classes, the core curriculum, they offered Bible study classes and choir. So it was a very good school. So my mom was said that I should go there. And long story short, I got in. And I remember today my stress and how scared I was for my first Bible study class. I, I knew we had a Bible. And this is the book right here. It was a, a book, a Bible that my dad received from one of his friends that was actually uh, escaping communism. He ran to United States. So he gave this Bible to my dad because his friend was not sure if he's going to make it to the United States or he's ever going to make it because of the communist threat. So back to my story, I was in my first Bible study class and we started with the Old Testament and I was so scared and I thought, oh again, another uh, history class. But as the year went by, my second and third year of high school, we studied uh, the Psalms and we studied the uh, the books uh, in the New Testament and slowly I met Jesus and his story is like none other. It changes lives, it puts things in perspective, it gives you a hope uh, that nothing can take away. And as I was reading one of the Psalms, uh, I came across this passage when I was deciding what do I want to do with my life, where do I want to go. And I read this in Psalm 84, uh, verse 5. Happy are the people whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage, as, this, as they pass through the valley of Baca, or valley of weeping, they make, they make it a source of spring water. Even the autumn rain will cover it with blessings. They go from strength to strength. Each appears before God in Zion. So I thought, what a beautiful way to live your life, from strength to strength. And all these strengths comes from God. So as uh, things happen in my life, and I met Sebastian, we came to United States, we, we walked through our valley of weeping. And there were times when I couldn't work, in times when I had to go to school, when everybody was doing other things with their life and I wanted to have a family and maybe buy a house. But I looked at this passage and I was reminded that if my strength is in the Lord, even though I pass through the valley of weeping, I will make it a source of spring water and God will cover me with blessings. And it was such a blessing, my journey through the United States and through my life so far with all the ups and downs i was blessed with wonderful people with wonderful experiences so as i close i urge you to look at your life look what god made in your life that's extraordinary and also set your heart on this pilgrimage that one day we will appear before god in zion thank you